Hugh Jackson said over the weekend, you've got to trust him. Michael Ragai, do you trust him? I trust you, yeah. Uh, but let me, let me, though, be very clear. <laughs> but. Uh, but. I, yeah, let me be very clear. <laughs> Don't use that I, in a I, relationship, yeah, folks. Right. I, I trust him <laughs> off what he's done on the football field as a coach. I trust him. As a developer, I trust him. I'm interested to see how he takes this forward. Now, now he's started to make some choices as far as personnel. We'll see where that goes. But as a coach, I trust him. Yeah. Speedor? Well, Dan, it's not a situation where everything that he does, I'm going to agree with. I'm still going to <laughs> criticize him if I think he's wrong. I'm still going to disagree with him. Of course. But this is the most excited that I've been about a head coach for the Cleveland Browns in the last five to ten years because he's got a quarterback background because he's an offensive minded guy and because he's had success with a number of different quarterbacks all different sizes all different styles um, his track record is something that i think he has earned he's done well for him but well there's no other choice except to trust him at this <laughs> point but uh dan as you and i talked about that i think he's sending off some mixed signals already you know, accuracy is the most important thing. Uh -huh. Then why'd they sign RG3, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. um, so it's going to be interesting to see whether this, this Kessler uh, challenge is, is legitimate or not. I don't think it is. I think they've known all along that they're going to go with RG3. One thing you can trust him on, though, is he's going to surround whoever his quarterback is with weapons. They went crazy. Absolutely. Four wide receivers in this draft. <laughs>